All right, our intern Kayla here is in a spot, and she's not exactly sure how to handle it with her sister or if she should do anything about it at all. Right, exactly. So my sister has um, been out in, in the public as a part of the LGBTQ plus IA community for about a year now, or at least to my knowledge, for a year now. And um, as time is going on, like I'm here listening to you share about your son, your relationship with him. And my sister and I have never been like super, super tight um, up until me leaving for college. I thought we, we finally were able to grow closer, closer through that. And, you know, things are starting to be things are starting to be good. Um, she's how, an older sister. She's younger, two years younger. Okay. She's about to go into college. Got it. Um, only 45 minutes away from me, actually. So and I'm like, I'm looking forward to this. I'm like, we're about to be both in college. We can share in these experience together. But with her coming out, it's been a totally different shift as far as like our conversations as it relates to our love lives per se. So, um, you know, she went from sharing all the details about her love life when she was in high school, you know, to this guy, this guy who she likes, all these kind of details to me knowing the bare minimum information as far as who she's involved with female wise. And I just don't know what the shift is or like, do I bring it up? Does it really matter? Like, how do I approach it? And like, I want to be there for her and like going to college is going to be a completely different experience. And I want her to, you know, just t confide in me in that. Just so we have a clear picture here. So she's told everybody in the family. Just about all. Yeah. My mom, dad, the, the main people, the main people. Yeah. Okay. But and has it been received well? Yes. Um, okay. everyone's supportive. Um, Good. we all have our different, you know, views on Surprise. just this. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the word. That's kind of the overall gist of it. But supportive, absolutely. Good. Um, and has she approached you to talk about it or you've just heard through mom and dad? Approached me to talk about her coming out. Uh huh. She, it, she came to me, but like it was really quick. Hey, by the way, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> that, that's how the conversation went with me. Hey, by the way, I'm gay. Yeah, hey. yeah, 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 yeah. That's how it was perceived to be. So what's your question here? Do you approach her? How do you approach do her? Do I approach her? How do I approach her? And like I said, just with her going to college, like how do I? Because like I said, we went from being super close and talking about your, her love life to like not at all when her coming out. So, so you like, want her to know that you're a safe space. Exactly. Okay. Well, hi. My we name have is Katie, <laughs> resident gay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're lucky enough to have two resident gays. Yeah. <laughs> Gay elders. Oh, I'm not that old. <laughs> Anywho, um, what I think, the reason why she's probably hesitated and pulled back with sharing her love life with you is because she may not want to make you feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, like for me, I know that when I finally fully accepted, hey, girl, you're not bi, you actually just love women and stuff like mm -hmm. that. When I told my best friends who are women, I didn't really go into much detail about what I was doing or like how my love life was going because I didn't feel like they would understand because they were straight. I was like, you won't get it. But I can go to Mo and be like, hey, all right, now look. <laughs> <laughs> this woman is, blah, 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 blah. you know, it's, it's a whole different level. And I think it's just probably because she's not comfortable and she doesn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. Gotcha. So if you go and let her know that, hey, even though things have changed mm -hmm. in who you're attracted to now, I still, you know, am receptive and still want to be there. That'll probably let her ease into it. Good words of advice from the Bird Show's Gaytriarch. <laughs> Rebecca is in her rookie season. True. I think even if you tell your sister that you are a safe space, you have to kind of accept that she still might not come to you with anything. Because if she was like me, when I was 18, I got to college and I finally got to experiment and have fun, I wasn't telling anybody. It was a secret. And it was because I was embarrassed. It was something that I was hiding for so long that the thought of telling my friends, telling my family, God forbid, was such a daunting idea. I, I could not even fathom doing it at 18, 19 years old. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of just like let her live her life, get like get all these emotions out. She still sounds like she's figuring everything out and she will come to you. So you're saying don't say anything at all until she comes to her. I think putting forward that you are a safe space for her and she can tell you whatever she wants is perfect. On her time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But don't expect anything because she's not going to tell you anything i'm telling you now <laughs> <laughs> it just takes time right is it the kind of thing where um uh kayla could be like overly not enthusiastic but what's the word i'm looking for like um overly supportive to where it would almost be off-putting <laughs> yeah. to her sister 
Oh, yeah, there absolutely is. Like, don't pester her with questions every day. Like, hey, you found a woman? You found a woman? You found a woman? You found a woman? What's going on? What's going on? Like, don't do that to say, you know, I'm here whenever you are ready to gotcha. open up more. Understood. Good stuff? Yes. All right. It's, it's the Burt Show. The Burt Show. Like what you just watched? Well, you can get way more of the Burt Show on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your favorite podcast.